because no one is gonna love you like you love you. What's up YouTube, it's your girl Amber back again with another video and today I have for you a five on Friday. So today's topic by that thumbnail and I tell you already know, we are about to be talking about self love, how to manifest and how to manifest great things for your life and how to just you know just have confidence and just take care of you because no one is gonna love you like you love you so let's get right into this video so ladies yes get your wine this is not my favorite wine so that's why i just have a little bit and if you are not 21 years and older do not indulge in wine alcohol anything of that sort i am not encouraging you to drink this is just what i'm doing if you feel led by the spirit and you're 21 years and older could do some wine oh by the way i got this cup from because i know i'm gonna get questions it's super cute look at it with the hearts i got this um wine glass from hobby lobby so let's do before we start the video let's do a cheers to you okay so i have my handy dandy notepad because this video i was just like so excited to do i have like so many things written down and i just want to get you know really into it because self-love is actually something that i've struggled with um i have a video coming out next week to get more in depth with a special guest so stay tuned for that um so basically i just wanted to give some tips on self-love um, I actually battled with self-love because, like I said before in um, previous videos, I was bullied and I just didn't, you know, I didn't really love myself because I just was believing what people were saying to me when they were bullying me. That's number one, red flag. <sighs> Don't be taking what people say to you in middle school, in high school, to heart. I know it's easier said than done because it's just like, girl, this is high school, like, these people mean everything like you think when you're still in high school if you're watching this video and you are in high school i know you're thinking like oh my gosh like this is my life like i have to deal with these people forever nine times out of ten when you graduate high school you're never gonna talk to those people again you think those are your best friends you're never at those bullies you're never gonna see them again and most of the time the bullies that are bullying you are going to be losers like my bully loser exactly I want you to number one talk highly of yourself the more positive things that you put into the universe the more it will put back into you if you you need to look in the mirror every day and i don't know if you guys seen this show it's pretty it's pretty old it's called being mary jane but the one thing i did like about that show was crazy mary, mary jane was a, whew. but the one thing i did like about that show is she basically lived like in a glass house and um she would get sticky notes and write a whole bunch of like things whatever the episode was about whatever they be talking about um she would write it and like post it up all in her house all in her bathroom of like like affirmations and just things whatever she was going through i am a firm believer in that i don't do that anymore because i don't just i just don't need to but i think that's a great way because and you should put it like in the bathroom because you're gonna go in the bathroom wash your face brush your teeth i hope you are because if you're not that's nasty and floss and and scrape your tongue while we're there anyway um oh sidebar best mouthwash you know i love my little side bars um yeah get you some sticky notes and post them all in the bathroom and write positive things i'm beautiful i'm blessed i will succeed my nose is perfect my nose is something that i was really really insecure about because it's kind of big and pulgy i kind of yeah but the fact that I can do this and like not feel anything, I would never, like I wanted to get a nose job when I was like in the sixth grade. Because it's just like, that's what people, people will call me Miss Piggy, Dinosaur. You'll see in the video, I'll keep that for that. But yeah, I wanted to get a nose job because I just hated my nose. That's what people talked about it the most. And now as I'm older, it don't even bother me. Like I ended up getting my nose pierced because it just didn't like bother me at all um where was i at yes um getting some sticky notes and just you know just putting positive energy out there and then you wake up in the morning 
and you'd be like, I am beautiful. Pray, pray to God to send you more, to give you more confidence. And you know what? If you don't like your face, cause you have, you're going through the, the uh, what is it? Uh, puberty. Get you some makeup if your parents allow it. I feel like if you're in high school, they should let you wear makeup. But you know, I'm not a parent, so who am I to judge? Um, but yeah, there's things to fix if you don't like what you see in the mirror. I think that everyone's beautiful how they are. Everyone's beautiful in their own way. People are just beautiful, you know? So, yes. And also, turn those cans into cans. Like, the things that you say you can do. Oh, I can never make a YouTube channel because I'm ugly. Oh, I can never make a YouTube channel because no one's gonna watch me. Oh, I can never get, make a YouTube channel because I'm not popular enough. Speaking of that, I started off from this YouTube channel, if you see his older videos, with my boyfriend. And let me tell you why. Mainly because a couple channels were, were booming. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know, maybe we could do this. And I wanted to, like... I wanted to have memories that like we could go back years from now like they remember when we did this then that third and then I thought about wow he's really big on social media like he has a lot of followers way more followers than I do of course they're all gonna come to our YouTube channel we're gonna you know blow up and stuff did not happen so don't base your things on popularity because if people want to watch you they're gonna watch you genuinely that's just what it is it don't matter how you could have millions of followers and you make a youtube channel and no one subscribes just be genuinely you be you love yourself and people will love you for you not for what you do on instagram or snapchat or whatever um yeah so speak oh that's what i'm saying turn those cans into can stop saying you can't take can't out of your vocabulary this is the one thing I love that George Lopez says. I'm not Mexican, but he said, we're Mexican, not Mexican. Okay. So, take that and run with it. Um, also, stop comparing yourself to others. I did that a lot. I would compare myself to people and I would just be like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a smaller nose like her. Or I wish I had um, a smaller head because my head is so big. But I've grown to love it. Like, it suits me, you know? If I didn't have this nose and this forehead, I wouldn't look like this. And I'm beautiful. And don't nobody gotta tell me I'm not, okay? Because if you say that I'm not, you're a hater. We don't like haters. Haters are losers. <laughs> I'll drink to that. And I'll keep saying it. If you're not 21, do not be drinking, okay? This wine is really nasty. I mean, it's not nasty. It's Riesling, but it's whatever. Anywho. Don't compare yourself. Oh, she has smaller feet. I wish. Oh, they have. I wish. Oh, they have a two-parent household. I wish. No, everyone is who they are. Designed by God. Everything in your life is happening for a reason. You know? So, just live your life. Be positive. And watch my work. Also, um, oh yeah, what is for you will be for you. If you are, you know, in that bracket of people who graduated high school and you're trying to get this job or you're trying to get this meeting with this producer and you're doing everything that, I don't know, Aaliyah is doing, but everything that Aaliyah told you to do on her YouTube channel isn't working because you're not Aaliyah, you're Samantha. What's for you will be for you and what's for them will always be for them. You don't you don't have the same story and that's okay. You don't have to do everything that someone else is doing. Find what you like and stick to that and be you, authentically you. Um yeah, I mentioned that. Also, a part of self-love is self-care. So if you're caring for yourself, that means you can't always, you can't care for yourself and care for someone else at the same exact time. You have to choose one. Y'all, something, I don't know what, maybe this material, but it is itch. Mm, maybe it's a, oh, it's a tag right here. Ooh, I gotta get that out. Mm -mm. Y'all know I'm always be real with y'all. 
Um, yeah, it's okay to say no. It's okay to say no. If you are of age, let me say that. If you are of age, don't be 17, 16 years old talking about your parents talking about, I need you to go wash the dishes and you say no. Now you're just trying to get your butt with because what are you doing? You you don't have no you don't have a pot to piss in or wouldn't to throw it out. But excuse me. Um yeah, it's okay to say no. If you have that one friend who you know is gonna call you on some BS or is gonna call you on some oh he cheated again. Oh, can you do this? Or if you have that one friend, I've because I've been watching Euphoria. Euphoria, Euphoria, whatever. I'm on season one and I'm I'm on the episode where you know ruse on drugs or whatever and she asks her best friend to um what do I mean she's her best friend but she doesn't see her as her best friend to pee in um a cup and use her urine because she's still on drugs don't be an enabler never be that person you're gonna it's probably gonna cost you some friendships but hey like you're saving someone's life um don't be an enabler don't be a yes person say no sometimes especially when it's something like that because you'll say yes to so many things and people will start get comfortable with it and they'll start asking you crazy things but because you don't want to lose that friend you're going to still say yes no absolutely not not a good idea wouldn't recommend 10 out of 10 would not recommend do not do it say no say no to your parents if you have a parent who is a user and you getting it out you getting it on your own you're getting out the mud okay and you know you have that parent who's not really the definition of a parent they just brought you into this world um you gotta say no to them it's not disrespectful if i i know personally if i had if my parents were let's say like drug addicts or alcoholics or something you know not good i would put my foot down and and if you have a parent who is not treating you like the adult that you are speak up and say something don't let time pass on and you just continue to get keep treated like this and treated like this and then one day you just you know just stop talking to them don't do that it is it's the worst idea ever because it's just it, it complicates the relationship it may make you guys stronger though so that i don't really know but um yeah it's okay to say no like i said to your parents to whoever is just in the way of loving in the way of you loving yourself it's okay to say no take time for yourself like you know you always have that one family member oh i want to go here oh i want to go here and it's like you're the only one with the car and you don't want to you know like be the debbie downer if you don't want to go somewhere don't go no one's putting a gun to your head and making you like hopefully but don't so like I said, it's okay to take time for yourself. Treat people accordingly. It, and it, for the, okay, let me give you an example. If you have a friend who knows that you are, I'm just gonna use YouTube for an example, or social media influence or whatever. If you have a friend who is has over a certain amount of followers, where they know that they get traction to their account, and they know that a lot of people watch their stories or a lot of people see their posts and they are your friend and they don't post they don't repost your items that you're trying to sell or your youtube channel or your nail page or if you're a wax or whatever even if you're a pastor and you have a, a, a church and you're trying to gain more members and your other church uh your other pastors don't repost, repost your sermons or don't shout your church out or shout your page out or shout out your business are they really your friend? I'm learning that. They're not. They're not your friend. So treat people accordingly. That's a part of self-care and self-love. Don't keep putting out love to someone who doesn't love you back. And it hurts because I'm personally going through this right now. I have a couple friends who, you know, who are, you know, bigger on social media. And it's just like, dang, like, why do I have to ask you to repost my stuff? Like... Mm -mm. to me that's just not okay because i know personally if i was higher like not higher if i had more of a following on social media and one of my friends 
was, you know, selling lip glosses, selling hair, selling hair product, hair, hair, selling hair products, doing hair, doing eyelashes, eyebrows, waxes, whatever. I would do my like for example, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that every single time my friend Trinice um she has a podcast and it's called Youth Unfiltered. And if you haven't um checked it out, you need to because it helps me. The last one waiting on guys. Lot. get into it I'll I'll put the link down below and you know why I'll put the link down below because that's my friend and I love her and I want to see her succeed her and Stacia I want to see them succeed I want to see them on greater you know shows and on TV one day I don't know I see greatness in them just like they see greatness in me like I repost them because that's what I genuinely want to do I genuinely want to see my friend succeed I don't know why I'm about to get emotional like oh this topic is just so like hands off for me because I do have so many people in my life who are not like there for me like I feel like they should and then I find myself like trying to like not trying but wanting to reach out to these same people who I no longer have like strong relationships with and I want to because of the God in me and I guess I want to say it's the God in me because baby I don't know what else it is I want to reach out to them and try to make things work when they're the ones that messed up with me that's not loving yourself because why are you, you know what they did to you. Like Trini said it to me, we were out and she was like, but why would you even want to go back to that friendship knowing that they did you dirty multiple times? If they did you dirty multiple times, they're going to do it again. And if you're always that person to reach out, stop doing that. I know it's hard. I know, I know it's hard because I have this friend who, she was my best friend. And if you know, you know. And I love that girl with all my heart. And I met, her, I had a really strong relationship with her parents, especially her mom. Um, we would just like bond and talk about certain things and, and with our families and stuff. We related a lot. And I miss that girl, you know? And it's just like, I want to reach out, but it's like, what if I reach out? First of all, I'm always the one to reach out. Every time we stop being friends or whatever, we just stop communicating with each other. How we got back together was always because of me. I was always the one to reach out and I'm not doing it this time. Trinice, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We are, she know, she know. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I want to, I'm not gonna do it though. But yes, that's all a part of self love because I love myself enough to, I love myself enough to put my sanity first. Okay, ladies, put your sanity first, choose you because guess what they're choosing them they're choosing them so choose you poo choose you um so we touched on treating people accordingly we touched on taking time off for yourself put that phone on do not disturb go get a massage go to glen ivy sis i'll go with you dm me you want to go to glen ivy we can make a day out of it okay i'm so down um go get a face show just have a date or stay home and do nothing text your parents let them know you're okay your guardians whatever let them know you're perfectly fine but you just want to be left the hell alone and that is okay sometimes i have my days where i don't want to talk i don't i don't don't talk to me that don't mean i'm mad i'm just taking a day for myself and that's okay like you don't have to talk and be there for everybody every day like you are the strong friend but no one looks out for the strong friend they because you're the strong friend they just assume like oh you're strong you got it no sis i don't that's why i'm drinking wine um also forgive yourself for your mistakes i gotta cut this tag out y'all it's just killing me oh i'm gonna do it after because i you know this is my we're doing girl talk that's why we're in our robe we have our wine it's real girly and cute um yeah forgive yourself you know with my dad being the person that he is and being um so known like i'll be going to 99 cent store and i could be all the way in freaking let me see lancaster far away from everyone one of his oh my god you ep daughter how do you why 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 i can't go nowhere without seeing nobody my dad know this man knows the whole world and if you were a pk 
you understand or if you're just in the church the black church community you know you can't go nowhere without somebody knowing somebody i'm used to it now but at first i'm just like dang like i went to a concert and um i was it was reported back that i was at the concert and i'm just like dang all up in my business so because of that i kind of like i feel like i'm held at a higher standard like oh because you know your friend your dad has friends who are always watching you you got to be on your p's and q's you got to act accordingly because your dad's in ministry you need to act accordingly because that's the right thing to do not because your dad is in ministry or you because your mom is in ministry you need to act like you got some sense because you have sense because it's the right thing to do don't be out here acting willy-nilly you're a, you have your own representation think of that first think of of that like how your parents are gonna feel should you should you should care about that let me not say i don't care about that because i do care because my last name is phillips at the end of the day and it, I, it carries some weight you know but it's just like i'm not going to act a certain way just because my dad is in ministry i'm gonna do it because it's the right thing to do like yes that's in my mind but that's not the first thing i'm thinking about when i make a move i'm not gonna like be out at a hookah lounge and not you know get i don't know a, a drink oh because i don't know who's watching me let me know uh... like you see i'm on my channel and i'm drinking wine because jesus turned water into wine no i'm just kidding um but i'm of age i'm not all here getting drunk i'm taking a couple sips and as you see like i didn't even pour a lot in there it wasn't a lot to start with and it's still not a lot i'm not like a big like drinker you know like i'm not like oh i gotta drink every time I, i'll have a i like fruity drinks too but you make a mistake don't be out here trying to kill yourself don't be out here you know just so depressed and and curl up to, in a ball and act like you can never go outside and show your face because you made a mistake making mistakes builds character you need to make mistakes my bad y'all i guess i was recording too long a lot of the times my parents would tell me like oh i i don't want you to do this or i'm trying to tell you to do this so you don't if you just listen to me you wouldn't have had to make that mistake or and it, they always talk about like what do they say a taught lesson is better than a bought lesson and basically what that means is if your dad or your mom tells you don't drive drunk and you you know you don't do it boom that's a taught lesson but a bought lesson is if you don't listen to them and you drive drunk and you get a ticket and you get a DUI, a DUI and now you gotta go to traffic school and now you can't have your license you see that's a, a bought lesson because you have to pay for the ticket you gotta go to court all this unnecessary stuff when you could have just left them in the first place but on things that are not as serious as that i don't have any examples that are coming to my mind right now but some things i think kids need to make mistakes adults need to make not adults and you're, you're i feel like your 20s your teens and your 20s are your times to make mistakes because i don't want to be doing what i'm doing in my 20s in my 30s and my 40s because i want to be living you know like i want to live now but i would rather make a silly mistake now instead of when i'm 30 years old and it's gonna cost me because i might have children then or i might have i don't know i don't know like i don't know just I don't know. so yes forgive yourself for your mistakes mistakes builds character and also you don't want to be like this perfect patty because when you do have children or you do adopt or you have nieces and nephews and they be like oh auntie amber or mom or whatever um what mistakes did you make in when you were 20 that you wish you didn't do if you're perfect hey you ain't got nothing to teach these kids ain't nobody perfect the only person that's perfect is god okay you ain't him okay um so i just have oh did i speak on everything i think i did touch on everything um so that's everything that i have written down um also i want you guys to start like 
praying more and just manifesting great things for your life like i said continue to stay positive continue to speak positive over your life because that will that's what will be returned back into you you can't be like oh i'm so ugly oh i'll never get the job oh i'll never graduate high school oh i'll never graduate college if you keep saying i will never do these things they will never happen life and death is in the power of the tongue so you need to speak positive and you need to act positive the more you say something you're affirming it into the world and you know you just keep doing it. if you put two steps forward god will make four steps forward you know you just gotta show him that you're serious show him and talk to him and ask him like god teach me to be more like you to give me more confidence god um there's so many videos on youtube like this one that you should like comment and subscribe to that will help you i'm here for you if you have any questions on positive thoughts or how to gain confidence or whatever dm me life with amber on instagram um email me my email oh, yeah my email's in my bio um comment down below all of that will be greatly appreciated so yes guys that is the end of this video thank you so much for tuning in if you guys want to see more videos like this stay tuned for every single friday i will be posting a five on fridays if you guys enjoy this segment please let me know in the comments down below i will greatly 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 appreciate it and if you can do me a favor and share this video on facebook twitter instagram whatever social media you have send it to people in the text messages there's these little share option and you can press message send it to everybody in your text messages let them know that amber has a positive word for them and that this tag is getting on my nerves that's one thing about it every video i'm gonna always be real with y'all okay so i'm rambling i'm just a brown girl in a real world and i'm out peace